dogs and when we take our dogs out there are several that I want to tell you about so you know what to watch out for. Foxtails get the name because the the plant has a bushy seat on the end that could look like a foxtail if the fox was a plant. Really get in dogs ears. They got big old tails on them and they just when they come apart and grip the furry parts of the skin. And Frankie's coming to get in the foxtails. Great, Frankie, show them, show them what it's like to come in the fox. That's what dogs do. They sniff, and those little foxtails get in their ears and their nose and their skin, just like they get in my socks. And there they are, right in my socks. Ow, ow. So if we we're a dog running around, then we go, oh my gosh, oh foxtails got to get away. Oh, there's more foxtails. Well, this is barley. This is okay. Oh, more foxtails. More foxtails. Oh, okay. Let's go up this way. But there's foxtails on the ground. They might get between my feet. Oh my God, I'm surrounded by foxtails. What am I going to do? I think I'll go back the other way. Oh, there's a thistle. Thistle. It might poke me in the eye. Ow. Boy, it's dangerous out here. I don't know where to go. Oh, there's a wood pile, but it might have a rattlesnake in it. You get bit by a rattlesnake. I... I had a friend got bit by a rattlesnake. He had to go to emergency clinic. They almost put him to sleep. Um, I don't know what to do. More thistles. More rocks. More rattlesnakes. I don't know. Oh, this is all beat down. I think I'll go this way. This is more fun. Okay. Okay, we'll go down this way. Oh, this is looking better. This is just burr clover and barley. This is good. And oh, look at those pretty. Look at the pretty. Oh, those are pretty flowers. I like those flowers. I think I'll, yeah, I gotta relieve myself. Ah, oh, that feels better. Okay, now we'll go up. Oh, this is a great trip. Okay, we're back on the road. Whoa, let's see. I'm not sneezing, I'm not shaking my head. Uh, I'll have my owner check my paws. That was fun. She'll, she'll, if she gets wet again, she'll for sure, oh. That's a sign. Uh, thank you for participating in this exam. But when a dog gets in the foxtails, They'll sometimes, they'll sometimes do all these weird behaviors where they snort and sneeze and shake because uh, it's itchy. The plants are itchy and, they, and the dust will make them uh, uh, appear itchy. It does happen. And those are the signs. Right there, uh, a dog with foxtails in its ears will shake its head all the time like that. And, uh, but also they'll shake their head just because uh, just because it's itchy being out in the allergens and the dirt. Thank you for participating, Frankie. Come back when you have time. But just like I showed you, foxtails will cling to the hairy parts of your body. So when you're done with your, with your little excursion, always check between a dog's toes. Look for those little foxtails. Look for, uh, like, like here, there's a little foxtail going in there. And there's a little one going in there, so you have to check between the toes. And check underneath. Sometimes they get dirt underneath in the in the between the toes and rocks. So you gotta check for that. You know, you'll never see a foxtail if it goes down in the air because it goes way down there. And only a veterinarian can do it. But sometimes you can be lucky and put some uh, air ointment or some a little bit of oil in it, it'll soften it up and they'll shake it out. Especially if you don't want to have to clinic that night you might try a little oil to soften up that foxtail so that they can shake it out of their ears so that's one of the things you check for check around their face check all over in their fur because these little plants things could be everywhere thanks for leaning on me with your cold wet muddy butt Frankie so we use this otoscope to look down in the ear in that side of that air canal so if we were to have the model the otoscope would go down and it would shine right on the eardrum, like that. Goes down, in, oh my gosh, look at what I can see down there. We've got to get the instrument in there just right so I don't injure the eardrum and I have to pull. Okay, there we go, let's see, oop, oop, gonna grab it, gonna grab it. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm a cat's ear. Now that's not very common. Usually it's a dog's syndrome, but cats can get this too. And then, you know what? Sometimes they have me running around on the gravel and stuff like that. It hurts my feet. My pads are used to being in the house on linoleum. What the heck is it? Frankie, wait up for me. Oh my God, my feet are starting to hurt. Ow, ow. Thanks, Frankie. 
Thank you. Let's go a little slower. Ow. Well, you know what, Frankie? You've used to being outside. I'm not. It's hard. It hurts. How do you do it? Oh, I see. You just walk. Okay, I'll try. I'll get up a little faster. Ow. Ow. Okay. 